Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about Gary Vaynerchuk's $1.80 Instagram strategy. Now if you don't know me or my channel, my name is Anthony. I make videos about Instagram weekly showing you guys how to scale your Instagrams, how to gain followers faster. Um, I own a ton of Instagram accounts. I have a 1 million follower network and I have an Instagram agency where we manage clients accounts on Instagram. So now that I've kind of qualified myself, I just want to say and get this out here right now that this is in no way a hate video towards Gary Vaynerchuk. I love the man, okay? I love Gary Vaynerchuk. I support him 100%. I have his books. I consume his content on a daily basis. Um, so this video is not a hate video at all. You know, I, I support the guy. This is just me breaking down his $1.80 strategy and then going ahead and giving my opinion on it afterward. I break down the actual results you will get, how much time it's going to take, and at the end of the year, what is your follower account going to look like? And maybe that's the right strategy for you and maybe it's not so with that said guys let's get right into it okay guys so here we are now I don't have a stand for this thing so we'll just have to make do bear with me but this top half right here this is the Gary Vaynerchuk's $1.80 Instagram strategy I know there's a lot of confusion on how it's actually done so I broke it down I'll explain it to you guys for those of you who may want to actually execute on it you'll actually know how to properly do it and then right here on the bottom don't know if you guys can see that but it's the results okay so what are the results gonna be how many followers you can gain a day how many followers a week a month a year all of that stuff and at the end I'll give my personal opinion on it is it worth it would I use this on my accounts and all that good stuff so the one dollar and eighty cent Gary Vaynerchuk Instagram strategy what is it okay so basically what it is is you have a hashtag right and you're gonna go to this hashtag and you go to the top post of this hashtag and you're gonna leave your two cents on all these posts right there's the top portion there's the top half there's the most recent we don't want to we don't want to mess around with the recent we only want to mess around with the tops because that's where the traffic is that's where all the eyeballs are kind of at that's what's kind of trending that's what might be going viral on the explore page so we're gonna leave our two cents there we times that by 10 it equals a dollar 80 okay now I kind of put a little bit of a twist on this so it could work a little bit better just a few very simple things Things, um, just to make sure you're picking the right hashtags that are going to benefit you most because if you're a luxury page maybe your personal brand page you don't want to comment on hashtags that people aren't going to be interested in you so it's very important when you're doing this strategy if you choose to do it you're going to actually niche down on it okay so what hashtag to pick right the first thing you have to pick is a hashtag what's a hashtag within your niche okay so niche hashtag this is a hashtag example so what's the hashtag that you're going to pick if you guys are probably coming from Gary Vaynerchuk, you guys are into entrepreneurship, right? So let's use entrepreneurship. You guys are trying to target entrepreneurs, trying to make money with your affiliate link or whatever it may be. So let's do entrepreneurship, right? Can't get much simpler than that. So that's your hashtag. You're gonna type in that hashtag and you're gonna land on the hashtag page, okay? On the hashtag page, it looks like this. There's top, there's recent, okay? Let me bring this a little bit closer. Okay, so on the hashtag page, you're gonna have top and you're gonna have recent. You want to leave your two cents, okay, that's what all these point zero twos are. You're going to leave your two cents on all nine of these posts. The recents, we don't fuck with the recents. We only fuck with the top posts. Again, we only fuck with the top posts because all the traffic is on the top posts. We don't care about the recents. Okay, so you're going to leave your two cents on all nine of those posts. Then what you do is you times that by 10. So you're going to pick another hashtag that's kind of like entrepreneurship. Let's say it's network marketing or let maybe it's affiliate marketing or maybe you're into fitness. Maybe you want to really niche down. Maybe you're a vegan fitness athlete or maybe you like to do calisthenics. Whatever it may be, pick another hashtag that's in your niche and go to the top post and leave your two sets on all nine of those posts. Okay, so after you do that 10 times, that's times 10. Doing that 10 times, leaving your two cents on 90 posts, that's gonna equal a dollar 80, okay? And there you have it, the dollar 80 Instagram strategy. So essentially, all it is that you are doing is you are leaving comments, becoming part of the community within your niche, and you're, you're leaving tons and tons of comments where people are gonna see your name on a daily basis. People might actually start to recognize your comments. You might, you know, after doing this for a, a week, two weeks, months, a year, you know, you're gonna be very, very involved in the community. You might see people posting daily, um, and you're basically gonna gain traction through leaving all these comments and getting your name out there. Think of it, you know, if it's, if it's, if you were on the street, it's like passing your business card out to a lot of people. So right here, you're basically passing out your business card in the form of a comment to tons and tons and tons of people, or you're not saying dumb things like, oh, follow me, oh, check out my page become part of the community, actually give something of value, don't spam, and, and don't tell people to check out your page. If you're commenting solely just to tell people to, hey, come back and check out my page, you're going about it the wrong way. Leave a valuable comment, offer value, you know, give something in return, and let people come to your page because of how valuable your comment was. Let people come to your page 
because your comment just it really vibed with them okay that's that's why you want people coming to your page and what you're gonna get out of that is a real good follower who's gonna be loyal who's actually interested and gives a shit about your stuff nobody does follow and follow because it sucks okay that's that's why you guys really gotta stop with the follow and follow stuff because people are only following you back because they feel bad that's why people cannot build a sustainable page off follow and follow because it's 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 unethical the entire process of building a huge page through doing follow and follow is just completely unethical and it, you don't get any quality type of followers from it so what are the results okay what are these results okay so what happens after you do this well you have 90 comments left right now let's assume 10 percent convert that's a very high number 10 percent conversion rate that means 10% of the people you leave comments on are going to go back and follow you, okay? So we're going to be generous. We're going to assume 10%, even though it's very highly likely that it's not. It's probably going to be closer to 3 4 maybe 5%. But we'll call it 10% just to be generous and, you know, just to give it a fair shot. So, 90 comments left, assuming a 10% conversion rate of followers equals 9 followers per day. Okay, so what are your results, logically? If you guys have been here on my channel long enough, you know I don't talk about theories, I talk about logic. What are you actually gonna get? What are actual results going to be like? So, you're gonna get nine followers a day. Doing this strategy after a week, you're gonna get 63 for the week. Doing this strategy for a month, you're gonna get 270 for the month. And doing this strategy for a year, you're gonna get 3,240 followers a year. Okay, so if you are consistent and you do this religiously for an entire year, you will end the year with 3,240 followers. Again, that's assuming a 10% conversion rate. And that's also not taking into account snowballing on Instagram, okay? And what I mean when I say snowballing is that obviously as you build up your following, um, you're gonna get followers from more than just leaving comments. You know, growth on any social platform is excellent exponential so you probably you know on the safe side you probably end that year doing that method probably between 5,000 to 6,000 followers because growth is exponential um things snowball your posts you might get a viral post you might you know get some directions from here or there or someone shouts you out or someone discovers you something like that but assuming that there's no big you know huge influencer that finds you and discovers you you're probably going to get between that that number 3,000 to 5,000 followers for the year should you use this strategy well it's up to you i showed you guys how to do it i showed you guys the results you can expect so if you just want to go ahead and do an extra hour of work a day on your instagram account and take a very long-term approach a very marathon approach um and you know put in this hour of work every day of leaving your dollar and 80 cents and gain nine followers a day and every year gain about three to five thousand followers a year which obviously would snowball i'm not saying it's not going to snowball you'll probably end up gaining more than that um if that's what you want to do and you want to build a loyal following keep in mind you're going to build a very loyal magnetic following these are going to be followers that really really care about you that really vibe with you that followed you because they went to your page saw your content liked your content and followed you to stay updated with your content so keep in mind the brand you're going to build is going to be very very strong strong and loyal it may not be massive but it will be strong and loyal so if that's kind of your approach then Gary's strategy is 100% for you however I will say that this strategy is more geared towards a personal brand profile okay I would never use this strategy if you're trying to build up a huge travel network or if you're trying to build up a huge luxury network there are simply better options out there if you're trying to grow faster but if you want that marathon approach on your personal brand account um, and you don't really take Instagram serious but you know that you should be on it and you want to kind of just start building down the footwork go for it go for the strategy when i personally use this strategy absolutely not it doesn't vibe with my vision um i know that there's better ways to grow on instagram i gain 10,000 followers a month on each of my accounts consistently so i have better methods that i use but again just because i personally wouldn't use this strategy does not at all make it bad um i will say that if you want to use this strategy and you're trying to go viral for those of you guys who actually watch my channel um you will not be able to go viral if you use this strategy your account will be placed into a spam category and you won't be able to hit the explore page okay so just want to put that out there for you guys this will make your account seen as spam on instagram if you are trying to grow with viral methods so if you're trying to go with viral methods um don't use this strategy because it will hinder you but if you're just trying to build that serious personal brand again as i said go for it so again me personally i wouldn't use this because my vision on instagram is kind of different i do instagram full time so i don't really need to take that marathon approach or i'm kind of doing it as a side since i do it full time you know i'm willing to learn um better methods to accelerate my growth to go faster 
Um, and if any of you guys are interested in those other methods that you can do, maybe you want to do Gary's Instagram strategy and you guys want to kind of amplify that, add some charge to it, add some fucking voltage to it, then I'll leave a video in the description. One of my videos I did um, a few videos back. Um, it, it's kind of the best place to start if you're looking for other ways on how to grow on Instagram. If you want to try to go viral and get on the explore page and get, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of impressions, I'll leave that video linked in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But with that said, I hope that really clears things up so you guys can actually go ahead and execute on Gary's strategy. Maybe now you guys can see the results can kind of weigh whether or not you want to do it, whether or not the strategy is for you and it lines up with your vision. I want to invite you all to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like the video and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Next video. Tell me guys, tell me what you guys want to see. Whatever you guys want to see, leave a question in the comment. I'm going to pick um, one of your questions from this video to be the next video. So leave your questions. I might pick you. I might pick you. So leave it. All right. See you guys later.